Well, looks like kids had a little fire last night. Glad everything's good to go. Today, I am headed over to Snake Root. One of the best little techie trails around for a couple of reasons. One, I'm excited to try a new tire on the back. Got a specialized purgatory. Doesn't say grid on it, but it's just a little trail tire for a whopping $20 over on eBay. And uh, pretty ultra light, smaller knobs. And as you can tell, it rolls really well. And on that rolling really well note, I just did something amazing. Never thought I'd ever do. And that was pedaling all the way up horse nettle. Yeah, cleared every little section. It was bonkers. And it is definitely due to the way the purgatory rolls with the smaller knobs versus the hillbilly that was on the back before. It was a hillbilly grid. I'm really liking this because for me, pedaling uphill is not a thing generally with a 32 chain ring up front and only a 46 tooth big gear cassette in the back. So yeah, that purgatory is helping out tremendously. And here we go. Little snake root action. Starts off a little techy up here. I haven't done this trail in ages. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can already tell the thin sidewall, smaller knobs are sliding out like crazy on this stuff. Here's one of the techiest corners ever. Oh yeah. Into the shoot. Nice. Oh yeah. And you got this section through here. A little tight and narrow shootage. Should be able to open it up much more than that, but still getting used to that rear tire. Not having quite the bite, of course, with the smaller knobs than the hillbilly. There's another good switchback for you. Another one right here. And this one's pretty crucial. Ugh. Yep, foot off, but did not dab. Yeah, it's super slidey back there. When it's thinner sidewalls, whew, still nervous to run it on lower pressure, but I think I could probably drop a pound out of there, one PSI. Man, this is so good. I wish I remembered this trail better. Another switch back right here. Oh yeah, and on that note, 
I'm going to show the whole trail, including pedal sections. Now they're slipped back. All the goods. This is where a nice little hardtail would be so sweet. A little bit smaller in this tight stuff. Or just maybe a shorter travel, 27.5. the tree. And that's the main DH right there. Down to this gully. And a little bit of downhill. I remember where all the little cut off side hits are I always miss the very first one there you go That's a full onside hit now. I think it's this one I gotta watch. No, it's that one. Face smackers and through the creek. And that is it. Oh. Well, I figured since Royale was on my way out, I'll just give it a quick spin, a little chill lap down and smash that purgatory through the rock garden down here. See how it does. Ooh, I just picked up a stick. Oh, love it. And it comes out right then. Nice. That was exciting. And now a leaf. And it's gone.
Oh, hello. Full chain off. La 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 la. Hmm. Exciting. Does appear the chain guy needs a little adjustamente. You know, all part of that mountain biking life. Continuing on in a horrible start gear. Here we go, into some rockiness. This is literally one of the best blue gardens around. Just swept the corner better. Oh, come on, chain hang in there. Thank you, Cannibal Side Knobs. For as flat as this trail is, it is spicy through that section, no joke. not making noise back there. What's going on? There it goes. Huh. Might have inadvertently shifted gears or something. I don't know. Not the most exciting run ever, but hey, still better than not good. And that's the bottom. Yeah. I'm beginning to suspect the free hub's messing up. Look, shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Um, let's go fixed gear. Oh boy. Seems as though the free hub on this Stan's Neo has seen better days. Uh-oh. What does that mean for the Massanutten trip next weekend? Although this video will come out after that trip. But, stay tuned. Uh because you'll find out. I'm out of here. Bye.